All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be a quick little product feature on the Team Orion Carbon Pro LiPo batteries. Now, I chose the 6500 milliamp 2S LiPo, and this has a 90C discharge rate on this battery, which is just amazing. Uh, now, Team Orion's been around for quite some time, and they've actually been the innovator of putting the carbon look on the battery hard cases, which is pretty cool. I was kind of reading that online, and I have so many different batteries that have that kind of carbon look to the hard case. Kind of cool that these are the people that actually started that whole trend of putting the carbon on there. So, um, pretty cool battery. I'm planning on running this in my Techno SCT410. Um, I have some pretty serious electronics in there that really definitely need some power behind it and the runtime. So that 6500 milliamp is definitely going to give me some extended runtime on that 4300 motor that I'm running in there. So pretty cool uh, battery. Um, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what you get inside the package and we'll kind of go from there. So um, all in all, it comes in this kind of plasticky type box. Uh, very nice to see uh, that it's not coming in that traditional uh, white cardboard box that lipos come in. So nice to see something different here, I guess I should say. has all the, the Team Orion logos and whatnot all over this thing. has kind of that, uh, that three-way star that you know is the Orion logo. Of course, they're sporting their world champion uh, little icon right there has all the specs of this battery. Um, they offer this battery in two different versions, uh, the Dean's Plug version, which is the one I chose, and they also have one that they call a Tubes version, which is basically the one that uses the banana plugs to plug in directly to the battery. So uh, the Dean's Plug in my Technotrek will just make more sense, makes things a little bit easier, especially when charging. So um, all in all, there we go. There's a quick little model number for you guys. There's lots of different Orion batteries out there. So this one is the ORI14042, and there's all the specs, of course. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what you get inside the box. We'll go from there. So pretty happy with this. Uh, I have been running some Orion Electronics in another vehicle right now, and really happy with not only the the power and the quality of the product, but just the the fit, the function, everything. It has just a, a great look to it. It looks so professional. I mean, um, these days, I mean, LiPo batteries are a dime a dozen, but uh, to get decent ones that have good warranties and that, you know, do what they say, you know, has the specs on there, that they're claiming, I think this is just going to be a great battery. So let's pull this thing out. It looks like we got some information in here. Let's take a look at that really quick. A little foam protector in there for shipping, it looks like. So this is going to be your typical what not to do with a LiPo battery, which is, is very nice, especially for um, some newcomers to LiPo batteries. When I, when I first was charging LiPo batteries and, and first got into it, I was nervous as hell. I got some batteries that were a, a buddy of mine and uh, you know, wasn't quite sure. I was actually on the phone with him asking him questions as I was charging so I didn't light my, my house on fire. So um, very nice that they include this. It's uh, nice to see that literature in there. Hopefully people read that stuff because it is definitely important information there. So back to the battery. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. has, you know, the Orion kind of embossment right there. Um, this is, once again, the one that has the official Dean's connector. has a JST plug, which is pretty much 90% of the batteries out there now. Finally getting some standardization of that plug, which is very, very nice. And super thin design. I'm really happy with how thin this thing is for a 6,500 milliamp battery. I mean, I just can't tell you how thin this thing is. Actually, I have my caliper, so we're going to measure it. So it has all the, the typical warnings on the battery as well, which is very nice. So if you happen to uh, loan this to someone or uh, you know let someone test it out, they have all of the warnings on there of what not to do with a LiPo. There we go. has some other specs up here, 48.1 um, watt hours it looks like. 
So definitely a battery is going to have some very, very nice run time. Let's take a quick measurement of how thick this battery is. Um, go ahead and set my calipers to zero. And there we go. So this is measuring out at 25.05 millimeters thick. Now the thickness, you may say, you know, what's the big deal? Well, lower center of gravity, that's the, that's the biggest thing right there. You know, the lower the weight is in the car, uh, the less rollover and all that other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down. This can be a little bit blurry for you guys right now. We're going to bring in this 5300 Thunder Power, a lot, lot um, smaller battery, you know, over um, a thousand milliamp less, and it was 25.05 earlier. This one is a pretty thin battery. This is 23.6. This is one of the thinnest batteries I've ever had. I I ran this in my SCTE for quite some time uh, just to get the weight down on it. So um, all in all, very happy with you know a thousand over a thousand more milliamps, and I'm getting uh, you know a pretty thin battery. So. All in all, very happy with this. I can't wait to get some testing on this. I'm charging it up right after this video. I'm heading out to the track with that SCT-410 again. So I uh, can't wait to get this thing in, compare it to some of the other batteries I have. Hopefully you guys know which ones those are. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions about this Team Orion Carbon Pro battery, please put it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.